Hey everyone, it's Travis from Mac Connectivity, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about how to set up a, a launch pad with Ableton um, through our host ports. Uh, this works with any of our host port devices. I'm specifically using an Audio 4 Plus right now, um, but this could be with any of our devices with a host port. I've had a few questions about it, so I figured I'd make a quick video. Um, so let's get this started up first. Obviously, I'm going to connect my launch pad. It's usually helpful. All right, and now let me. So in iConfig, basically what all I'm doing is if you have multiple multiple controllers hooked up to a um, a USB host port, um, you'll need to come into the MIDI info tab here and actually reserve the device so that you know exactly which HST number. Uh, which I was port is actually in. So I'm going to use host one. Uh, once I reserve it in here, it'll always be reserved into there. Um, so even if I even if I disconnected it right now, it would just say not connected. Um, so if I go device reread, now it says just not attached. So it will always stay in that slot. You don't have to worry about it moving around or having any issues with that. So and now it's connected up. So let me bring over my Ableton session. Um, that's where my audio is currently coming through. All right, so in our Ableton session, basically everything's gonna be done in preferences. So I'm going to live preferences. Um, I have my audio four plus is my in and out right now. But we're gonna go to link MIDI. And let me, I'm gonna deselect all the stuff I have done. So I was just messing around with this. Um, so basically we just wanna make sure we have the right things turned on. So under uh, control service right here, this is the most important part. If you don't do this part, the lights will not show up, even if you do all the track and sync and all that stuff in under. Um, so control service, I'm using a launch pad. Um, my input is gonna be the host port one. Remember we reserved it in there just a second ago. And my output is also the same. It's gonna go back out to HST one. And you can already see, even without going through, that the lights have already come on on my device. Uh, if I click on Mixer, you can see I can flip through a few different options here. Um, so everything's basically set up. And if you go down here, you'll see Input, Launchpad, Input. Um, and this is, you can see it kind of skips over HST1, and that's because it's renamed it because you put in the control service up here. So I would normally put on Track and Remote. Uh, down here and the output I would I'm just gonna do all three it doesn't really matter but um, so now we can navigate through it so if you look at your red section here which is what we're controlling we can go up and down um, like we said before we can go to the mixer um, I can go into you know your volume levels and I can take your volume up or down um, Check one, two, you can see my volume just went down and way up. Uh, so that's, that's as simple as that. Um, you're panning uh, left, right. Um, that's, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if there's anything else that you kind of need to go through, this, this should all be working though. Um, as you can see it, I'm able to easily flip through all the different channels and sections and um, I haven't had any problems with it. So if you have any questions, this should work. Windows, Mac, it doesn't really matter. Um, Ableton and, and the launch pattern still react in the same way. You just need to make sure that in your preferences that you are selecting the control services and getting the right input and output. And if you don't know which the right input and output is, then that's a different question, um, which comes down to routing. Um, but by default, even through default routing, this is what the setup was. All I had to do was reserve that device into a specific host port. Uh, if I have multiple devices on a uh, USB hub, say it was on host five, then I would just select host five here. You can see it already changes down here, but that's all I, that's all I would have to do. Um, and as soon as we deselect this, once we deselect all this stuff, it should take a second, but usually it yeah yeah so you can see all the all the
controls it went away it just kind of got stuck in that in that mode because it doesn't know where to receive info from anymore um there you go and as soon as i connected it back it's it's good to go again so if you have any questions just give me a shout let me know